Um, good afternoon, class. My name is Justin Lee, and my presentation is on the tuition increase that will be occurring here at Eastern University next year. So before I start my topic, I just want to go over some background information on Eastern. So we're a four-year private institution. Um, that means we don't take, we don't receive any revenue from the state from taxes. So all the all our money comes from endowments, alumni, family, and friends, and of course the tuition that we're all so lucky to pay, right? So. Uh, I just had a question that I just want to throw out there. Um, how many people think that the tuition right now is too high? Okay. That's about what I thought. Um, so according to collegecalculator.org, they have projected the uh, estimated tuition growth in the next couple years. So right now, Eastern University isn't experiencing its first tuition increase. You've actually been increasing since 1987 by a gradual rate of 5.5% each year. So right now it shows that we'll be at $51,852 by 2019, given the gradual increase. And by 2032, we'll be paying about $391,097 for to graduate. So I understand that inflation will increase as time goes on, and our uh, standards of living will increase as well. But um, I mean, if a college tuition costs you $391,000, roughly, how much will a car be? Or a house. I don't ask. Okay, so this takes me to the three <coughs> points that I just want to go over. Um, I want to go over the tuition increase here at Eastern University over the past couple of years, and where does all the money go? And I want to go over the influence of school demographics and does it affect the retention rate of the school? How many kids want to come back? Um, does it affect graduation rate? And finally, the repercussions after graduation, and of course, how much debt will be. Which leads to my first point, the tuition increase here at Eastern University. So in 2000, our tuition was about $13,763. And right now, it's next year it will be projected to be about $29,440. So that's, a great, that's an annual increase of 5.92% roughly. So in terms of the dollar amount, it should, it's about $1,119.72 each year that we're paying. So, um, this takes me to my first graph that I want to show. Sorry, it's a screenshot from my computer. I can dissect it out. But this is a financial record from the 2011-2012 years here at Eastern University. Uh, it shows the revenue that Eastern has collected in those two years. So it shows that in 2011, 74% of tuition covered all the revenue that we took in as a school and the corresponding numbers as well. And if, if you look closely, um, tuition and fees have increased by 4%, obviously because um, our tuition increase has increased over the corresponding years. And uh, this, I want to contrast this with the next graph that I have that shows the expenses of what we paid for. So when we go in and we pay for school, you think that tuition just pays for like your education in general. But in total, it pays for about 30% of instruction, um, scholarships and aid, and everything that the school has to pay for inflationary values in check. Um, but I had the recent opportunity of speaking to Dr. Purnell Jones, who's the Vice President of Finance here at Eastern University. And we spoke about the expenses here at Eastern and what the money, the extra money that we'll have to pay goes towards. And about the money that we, that the school increases each year, about half of that will go towards scholarships and aid for the incoming students. So just funding how they can come in. And then the rest will just go towards um, health departments, athletics, anything that really needs like the kind of renovations that it needs. Um, so this takes us to our next point on the influence, the influence on the demographics. So according to the Eastern website, um, the retention rate here at Eastern University is dropping. I wouldn't say it's dramatic. It, it was in 2012. It was 80%. And now, this year, it's 78%. So it's only a 2% uh, drop. But in terms of the magnitude of this school and how many people we hold, that's a significant amount of kids that can't come back. And I know there's other reasons, but I think the tuition increase is a leading factor in the reason why kids cannot afford to come here anymore. I know a lot of kids on the soccer team that were on the team before, and now they can't afford to come back the next semester. And it's, uh, it's unfair, but it's the way things are. And the graduation rate has also 
are decreased by 2%. Um, kids are finding it hard to pay for their school for four years in total. So that is that. And this leads into my final point of the repercussions after graduation. So we live in a stabilized economy right now. Mom is doing his best job to bring, bring us back to the feet. Um, and, but that still doesn't exclude the fact that there's low job availability out there right now. And this is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It shows that in 2011, 72% um, of gr college graduates were able to find a job after. But that means 27.4% of students after college were not able to find a job. That's nearly, that's over one-fourth of the students that graduated college that couldn't find a job right after and will face serious debt right after college. So, um, according to collegeboard.org, these are the 2012-2013 student major statistics that students were enrolled in during that year. And although it doesn't show everything, um, it shows right here from the Smithsonian article, it shows the average income that you'll receive right after um, right after college graduation according to your field. So this is only if you're in the 75th percentile, so right here you're considered lucky if you can get that. But uh, most people generally fall on the average to 25th percentile, and um, I don't know how good you guys are with the knowledge of, uh, of the uh, loans, but uh, after you graduate college, you have about six months to pay off your loans, or else your um, your rates increase the longer that you can't pay them. So if you can't if you can't find a job right after college, then um, you're facing debt. And if you if you have a job within the 25th percentile, then I mean it, it'll take a lot longer to pay off all your student debt. So uh, just this just takes me to my last point. Uh, each tuition increases every year, and it's a shame, but they have to pay for the school here, and I truly am against it. I think that according to this um, graph from College Board, it shows that for a private non private nonprofit four year institution, um, since 1994, uh, schools have increased their tuition by 2.3 percent, while Eastern University has increased by 5.5 percent annually. That's more than double, and I think that our increase doesn't justify the increase that we need. And our retention rates and graduation rates are suffering. I think that it's a shame that because our tuition rates are increasing that students aren't able to get their entire education funded for. And uh, finally, I wanted to finish with our students face an overwhelming debt after graduation. They can't find a job. So after that six month grace period, um, if you can't afford to pay off your loans, then they'll skyrocket in your life. And that just brings me to my last point. Thank you for the time, and that's my. Uh,